China's Xinyang J-35 has shattered expectations by graduating from secret prototypes into carrier trials aboard the Type 003 Fujian. Numbered LRIP jets 0011 and 0012 now sport internal weapons bays, shark mouth tail art, and corrosion-resistant coatings. Proof this stealth warrior is sea-ready. With WS-21 engines installed now and WS-19 upgrades looming, the J-35 redefines maritime air operations and extends China's reach across vital sea lanes and sets a bold new bar. On July 19, 2025, official Chinese military channels released an air-to-air -air photograph showing two J-35 naval stealth fighters flying in precise formation, each jet marked with construction numbers 0011 and 0012. This image confirmed what observers had long speculated. The Xinyang J-35 has entered low-rate initial production and is now moving into operational evaluation within the People's Liberation Army Navy. Previously, only gray-painted prototypes with minimal markings had been spotted. These new airframes display full national insignia, distinctive shark mouth tail art, and carrier-ready communications antennas along their dorsal spines. Behind the scenes, state media allowed journalists brief access to the Xinyang assembly line, revealing multiple J-35 fuselages at different stages of construction. Reports indicate that production has shifted from experimental builds to a repeatable assembly line process, with specialist teams installing navalized wiring looms, deck launch modifications, and corrosion-resistant coatings. Deck crew training units have been spotted running simulated catapult launch drills, and maintenance squadrons are practicing high-tempo turnaround procedures, preparing for the day when J-35S begin true shipboard operations. This rollout mirrors the programmatic arc of the J-15B, which suddenly appeared in significant numbers last year with minimal public warning. The similarity suggests a deliberate policy. Quietly ramp up production, train personnel in parallel, then unveil a working fleet once the essential infrastructure is in place. Photographs of the Type 003 Fujian carrier's deck show empty catapult tracks calibrated for heavy, stealth-shaped aircraft, implying that electromagnetic launch trials with J-35S will commence shortly. Although no footage has yet captured a J-35 landing on Fujian's deck, planned sources confirm that initial deck integration trials are scheduled before year's end. Integrating a fifth-generation fighter into carrier operations demands far more than rolling airframes out of a hangar. Pilots must master precise catapult procedures and arrested recoveries, often in challenging maritime weather and sea state conditions. Deck crews need specialized corrosion-proof maintenance protocols, rapid access hatches, and onboard spare parts inventories sized to support both airframe and radar-absorbent coating repairs. Network operations teams are rehearsing data link integration between ships, early warning aircraft, and satellite networks to ensure that carrier-borne J-35S can fully leverage their stealthy sensors and communication suites. The J-35 represents a synthesis of proven stealth innovations and rigorous naval hardening. Its diverterless supersonic inlets, canted twin tails, and fully internal weapons bays work in concert to minimize its radar cross-section across multiple frequency bands. Sawtooth edges on the weapons bay doors and embedded antenna fairings further scatter incoming radar energy, while advanced radar-absorbent coatings are integrated directly into the composite skin, providing passive signature suppression without compromising structural integrity. Mission flexibility comes from its internal bays. When stealth is not required, Hardpoints enable carriage of additional sensor pods or munitions, allowing the J-35 to perform maritime surveillance. This dual-mode loadout capability ensures that commanders can tailor each sortie to evolving mission demands without compromising the platform's low-observable profile when penetrating contested airspace. Powering this capability is a twin-engine arrangement. Early production jets are equipped with the WS-21, a navalized offshoot of an earlier engine series distinguished by its lighter-toned exhaust nozzles. Planned follow-on batches will receive the more potent WS-19 engine, which is expected to enable supercruise capability for sustained supersonic flight without afterburner. 
This deliberate engine stage approach allowed Shenyang to field initial production aircraft quickly while continuing to refine and fully certify the higher thrust power plant for later blocks. Naval adaptation extends beneath the stealth skin. The landing gear has been reinforced and re-geared to absorb the high-impact loads of arrested landings, while key structural components receive corrosion-resistant treatments to endure constant exposure to salt spray and humid conditions. Maintenance hatches and flight control line routing have been redesigned for expedited deckside servicing, shrinking turnaround times between catapult launches and recovered airframes. Aerodynamically, the J-35's blended wing body design and dogtooth leading edge extensions ensure stable approach and landing characteristics at the slower speeds required for carrier operations. The twin-engine layout offers redundancy crucial for overwater flights, while fly-by-wire flight control software provides automated carrier approach aids and digital safety nets. In early trials, J-35S have demonstrated sustained and ferry ranges exceeding nautical miles on internal fuel, extending to nautical miles with external tanks. The arrival of the J-35 completes a carefully orchestrated high-low mix in China's carrier air wings. In this configuration, J-15S undertake broad area fleet defense patrols and high-end maritime escort missions while J-35S focus on penetrating advanced sensor fields under stealth protection, together providing layered coverage across the full operational spectrum. This doctrine parallels approaches long used by leading naval powers, ensuring maximum flexibility and survivability across diverse mission profiles. By projecting catapult launch stealth fighters from the Type 003 Fujian, the plan can now extend its patrols well beyond the first island chain, enhancing maritime domain awareness across critical sea lanes. Stealthy reconnaissance flights can map merchant shipping traffic, monitor naval exercises, and feed uninterrupted sensor data into China's integrated command network, capabilities that were unattainable with Ski Jump, launched non-stealth aircraft. This leap in operational reach and discretion strengthens peacetime freedom of navigation patrols, humanitarian assistance missions, and multinational training exercises alike. Export ambitions add another layer of significance. Beijing has publicly offered export variants of the J-35 to partner nations, with initial discussions held for deliveries. The ability to operate two stealth fighter production lines simultaneously, one for the Air Force's J-20 and one for the Navy's J-35, demonstrates unprecedented industrial maturity enabling accelerated fleet expansion and competitive cost advantages. Looking ahead, conceptual work on a sixth-generation naval fighter is already underway, targeting prototype flights in the early 2030s. Until then, the J-35, integrated alongside the warning platform and emerging unmanned wingmen, will define the plan's carrier aviation posture. Its induction represents not just a new aircraft type, but a comprehensive evolution in doctrine, training, and force projection that will shape regional naval dynamics for the next decade and beyond. Moreover, the J-35's networked sensors and data link integration enable real-time information sharing with surface fleets and submarine assets, improving coordinated responses across multi-domain operations. Deployment will likely spur doctrinal innovation, drive regional partners to modernize, facilitate expanded joint exercises, reinforce China's ability to safeguard maritime trade routes, and support humanitarian efforts. China's new J-35 naval stealth fighter has transformed carrier operations by merging advanced low-observable design with deck-qualified resilience. Its entry into low-rate production signals readiness for carrier trials aboard the Type 003 Fujian, supported by trained pilots, deck crews, and network command links. Paired with upgraded J-15S, the J-35 completes a high-low air wing mix that extends patrol range, enhances reconnaissance, and offers precision engagement under a stealth envelope. Export prospects and parallel J-20 production underscore China's industrial maturity. As the J-35 integrates into frontline wings, it sets a new benchmark for maritime air power, heralding a shift in regional naval capabilities. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries 
And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.